Hey everybody, welcome back. So uh, I did this uh, little gravel bike, little titanium gravel bike that were kind of an interesting project. Uh, we're converting it to uh, basically like a mullet one by style uh, system. So um, basically in the rear we've got our mountain bike Shimano Dior XT. It's actually a 10 speed derailleur but we're going to uh, an 11 speed 1150 cassette so kind of more of a mountain bike cassette so I'm using one of these wolf tooth tan pan um, it's kind of a ratio adapter I guess you could say that converts the drop bar shifter to a mountain bike um, pull ratio so I've done a few of these um, you know I think it had a flat bar and mountain bike shifters on it initially and this kind of a little project to customer had started. I'm not sure the whole history. I just thought it would be interesting to do a video on. So we actually have a post mount uh, rear brake and then a flat mount front brake. Um, so basically first off it, the shifters were kind of new in the box so I had all the cables and everything else and I'm just mocking up the uh, the front chip cable or the rear chip cable here and I've got the length already cut. I'm just kind of at this point deciding where I'm going to put the uh, it's the little tan pan um, adapter. There is it's an inline style, so I'm just kind of finding the best best place to do it. And you know, another reason I kind of made this video is I you know if you look, I've done a few of these, but I couldn't you know I had to go and reference the uh, how to do it on Wolf Tooth's website. And because um, I, mean, I don't know, I've had variable success with these. Sometimes they're just a little bit finicky, and they're it almost feels more like a, if you've ever had a Shimano drop bar STI shifter that when the cable starts to wear out and it's kind of a, maybe a little sluggish shifting up and a little sluggish shifting down, or you have to go two clicks and then go back up one. That's kind of about uh, best case that I've been able to accomplish uh, with one of these little ratio adapters or converters whatever you want to call it uh, so anyway just getting it all together here get my pieces mocked up and in the bag there's that little um, barrel it's got a little tail on it and it's got a little ridge there through the uh, the middle and that's gonna that's gonna go into the shifter there uh, so I don't know. This would maybe be helpful if you're maybe a putting drop bars on a flat bar bike and you know needing help putting these shifters on. This that's where you'll there's that little top. It's kind of a little key keyhole there. You'll put the cable in through the top part and then the uh, you'll come out. There's a little a little plate there. Um, you flip that thing open and you can see where the cable runs through. Goes through that little white guide and then straight back. Uh, and just right back straight through there so um, you know we'll stick the cable in through that top part just straight through the, the lever shift lever body brake lever and then as you when you get it through you'll kind of push it down and then you'll kind of see the little you need to make sure it's engaged into that little pocket there that's just below maybe give it a little tug maybe even test shift it a couple times make sure it's working before you hook it all up, um, put a little secret sauce lube on the cable there. I usually like to put just a nice film of, uh, you know, whatever. Slick Honey works well or dedicated like a PTFE based shift cable lubricant. Something that helps just keep water from wicking up inside of there. So water, sweat, whatever. Uh, so you'll get that little, the little ridge, you'll get that Thing engaged into the shifter body um, just like so and I've got the little flap closed over so we're ready to just put our put the uh, tan pan thing on and then the rest of our cable and route it up uh, so the th this is kind of the tricky the trickiest part um, so basically you know you'll start off through the adjusting barrel and the directions call to go under the little screw and then through that little there's a little keyhole there that you know goes basically from the small there's a little small groove and then the larger groove 
and the cable's going to come out off the larger larger groove of the pulley and it goes in on the smaller groove so basically you want to have that little the little screw there is going to be they call for about 180 degrees opposite the exit port so kind of just like that um, you know it's a matter at this point you know I just kind of just a matter of working that cable through and getting it all pulled through that's probably the trickiest part and then getting the little screw lined up to right where you want it so work that through um, you know this is the cables that came with the Shimano shifter they're those coated cables so um, try to be careful not to rip all the coating off of there which is pretty easy to do on this type thing or make sure not to kink the cable if at all possible there was a couple little bends in it that I had to kind of work out before I hooked it all up the rest of the way but that's basically what you want to what you want it to look like um, you know and then obviously once you get it hooked up it takes a few you got to really stress that cable in because there's some weird bends and you'll probably have to readjust it later on that's your normal ferrule end and then that's the part that's the little oversized ferrule on one end that comes with the little tan pan adapter there so that's the piece that's going to fit right over it and so we've got that all fit up there and then we're just going to at this point go through our little cable stop adjusting barrel cable stop there and kind of got it mocked up and it's where I've got it setting is just it's a little bit beyond where the tape comes out a couple inches or so so you can got access to that little adjusting barrel there if you need to make some on the fly adjustments We've got the Sunrace cassette, um, which that's our 1150 kind of Eagle style cassette there. So, um, yeah, then, you know, just again, a one by system. So basically, the I don't know, not going to get too much into the why this is a good idea. I, I prefer a one by on like a gravel or my commuter bikes. I mean, um, this is a Shimano system. I've got a, I'm gonna probably do a video here pretty soon on how to hack together a uh, SRAM road shifter into a uh, uh, kind of the similar system as far as using all SRAM components without the little adjuster, the little tan pan piece. Uh, so anyway, getting our cable all hooked up and took a couple times to get it really stressed in. That's what it basically looks like make sure you tighten that little screw also kind of holds it in place but I just seated in a few times and this is kind of one of my initial wasn't shifting great at first um, time I tinkered with it a little bit make sure the hanger's super straight and I think the uh, uh, the derailleur was mounted maybe a little bit up high on the uh, on the hanger on the frame there so once we got everything dialed in it was I, I would say acceptable it's still not as good as how a normal uh, I don't know shifter would feel but it I, it's definitely acceptable um, so and then we you know had to do with the, the the hose that was on there was definitely not long enough so we did a these are all parts the customer had supplied so it was all the correct pieces so we're basically I'm taking the pads out first um, so one thing on these uh, on Shimano um, calipers, you got to be real careful. They've got those ceramic pistons, so um, just I'm pushing them back in there. So you want to make sure you got to be real careful not to let those things get crooked, or they're they're pretty easy to break the back sides of those uh, pistons. So push them in nice and straight. Putting in my little bleed block here. Uh, so, you know, once you get that in there, we're ready to hook it up. And um, since we're putting a new hose on there, I'm just going to push the fluid up through the caliper, up through the uh, brake lever. But that's it's the banjo style hose. It's our little bleed nipple there. I'm going to go ahead and pull that whole rubber piece off. And basically, you just want to undo this bolt here. There's a couple different variations on the on the banjo fittings, um, but 
Anyway, we're gonna pull that out, and um, it's pretty pretty simple. It's basically just you got this. This one has that longer bolt. And there's uh, two little O-rings on either side of the little banjo. You can see the one O-ring there. The other one popped out with the bolt. So pretty simple. That's the bolt that came with the new one, which is not going to work with our setup. So we're just going to reuse the old bolt. Um, so we got two new O-rings on either side of the, the little banjo fitting, and uh, there's a little cable guide. So I just zip tied the cable up to those, and then ran it around, mocked it up, and I've got a little sharpie line there where, the, where I'm going to cut the hose. Uh, so there's those little yellow plugs that come uh, with these with the shifter brake levers and the there's already fluid in the in the master cylinders of the lever so um, get to that in just a second we're gonna put our little barb in here press that in and we don't have to put any of the like the compression nut and the olive are already just kinda loosely sitting in there and that's where the little yellow plug is stuck into the into the body shift body there where the in, entrance to where the hose goes in so basically what you do you just pull that little once we get our little barb pressed in here nice and flush and then we're going to just pull that little plug out and from there we can just stab our um, stab the little our cable in just like so and it'll go right you know make sure you get it all the way down in there should go in pretty probably about I don't know 10 to 12 millimeters maybe and then we're gonna just tighten our compression nut down there I'm not sure I think it's I don't know, six to eight newton meters or so um, you definitely want to get that nice and snug you don't need leakage through there and then that's basically it we're ready to bleed the brakes at this point um, pull the top section of the hood back and that's where your little bleed port is I'm going to be real careful on these not to over tighten them because those things have a tendency to round out super easy got our little bleed funnel with the little road extension that you typically have to use on a road brake lever so I'm just going to set that in there and then we're just going to went ahead and pulled the caliper off just so we could get a better visual to film this um, you know plus it's a little lower gives the hose a nice straight line of um, going up to the up to the uh, shifter or up to the master cylinder on the shifter there so we're just gonna push that thing all the way up on there the hose and then just back off the you only have to just crack that thing loose and then maybe turn it a, about a quarter of a turn lost our little bleed our hose there just got to work that on as best you can and then uh, from there we're just gonna I'm just gonna push the fluid straight through the uh, from the caliper all the way up so the hose would have been empty there would have been fluid in the caliper and up in the master cylinder but we're just gonna you know there's plenty of air in that hose so we're just gonna for it, flush it all through and then also kind of come to find out I did this step a couple times because the the fluid that was in the in the brake caliper was pretty old and dirty so just flushed it all through a couple times get it all nice and clean and um, once you cinch that down you can pump the uh, pump the brake lever until you get it you know maybe see a couple bubbles come out of the into the little uh, cup there could do a few different angles with the front end going down up a little bit and you know till you get it feeling nice and good and, you know nice and uh, pumped up and solid put our brake pads back in here and uh, yeah ready to put the wheel in and I uh, did the front brake it was just a um, matter of uh, cutting the hose sticking it in and you know that one it had fluid already in the hose and we we're using the 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 flat mount brake caliper that came with the sh shifter so it's didn't even have to bleed it basically that's kind of the beauty of those with that little yellow plug on the master cylinder of the brake lever you just cut the hose put your barb in you know stick it in there and you're good to go uh, so that's as far as I took it went out and test road and everything was functioning correctly I think the 
customer was going to finish up the tape and um, I don't know whatever else we just capped the cables and got it all set up there as the supplied part so anyway hopefully you found the video interesting um, again I'm going to try to do the SRAM one here at some point soon and uh, yeah thanks for watching we'll see you guys next time